is Roxanne Paquet. I'm an intensive English, uh, intensive English teacher at St. Louis Gonzaga School. I do, I teach grades five and six, third cycle, um, in the plateau in Montreal. So, so I use technology. I have a smart board in my class. Uh, in my class, I have access to four laptops, two iPads, and two regular computers. Station. The intention for Padlet was demonstration of understanding, because we've been working on the different age groups and what you know we've been we've read texts about the different age groups. They've had questions they had to answer, but this was just taking that what we've seen so far, what we've been working on, and re not reinvesting, but demonstrating that they understand and what they've been seeing so far. Okay, we use Padlet. We use Padlet um, for each age group. There was a, a Padlet page where they had to, the question was, find games, activities, uh, toys uh, that the, the age group that you have, for example, babies would use. And, and uh, this is one example of a page. So uh, we have toddlers. We have two teams doing toddlers, which is OK, because the images will just pop up as we, go, as we do it okay, together. Even if there are two teams. So what you want to do is you're going to work together to find toys, games, and activities for toddlers or babies or preschoolers or school age children. And you have some store flyers and some catalogs to inspire you. You can also use the internet. So can someone give me an example? We have one here of dolls, but let's do another example of just how to use the tablet. Yes, Nathan. And uh, we had they were really negotiating when they were doing this activity because some people were <laughs> so there was a lot of I agree I disagree and it was really interesting to see the negotiating going on and the discussions yeah. going on uh, uh, what is two little books like you you read I organize my class. So because I have the, this number two com two stationary computers four laptops and two iPads well, usually with the laptops and the iPads, those are easier to move around. So what I did is my class is in a U, but usually when we work with technology or with the laptops and iPads, I always try to group them in groups of four. So they choose a space in the classroom. They have the laptop, or they're around the laptop, they circle it and they can pass it around. And four is a good number. I don't find it's too much. Uh, perhaps two would be ideal, but three, four students, it works really well because they can pass it to each other. Now that I'm, I've started using these different technology, technological tools, I would say, I feel like it's motivated me. Like it's, it's shown me that it's really not that bad. It's not that hard. And if you make a mistake, it's easily fixable. And I'm encouraged to like try new things. And I, I've, I've learned some new resources. And I think by using it more, I'm going to be using more of these, not just Padlet and Mentimeter, but other tools that I've learned about.